Welcome to Contact. Today we're continuing our series, Review Instructions, with a message called Believe and Act. Last week we talked about growing as Christians to a place where we love the Word of God. The next step and part of the growth process is to believe the Word and we demonstrate our belief by doing what the Word says. So tell us a little bit more about what's going to come today. Okay, so that's exactly what the message says, is this is like the next step. Right. You know, you love the Word, you get it on the inside of you, then the next step is, okay, I'm going to believe this and act on it. Mm -hmm. And again, we have plenty of examples, Old Testament and New Testament, of doing that. Right, and so we're doers of the Word and not just hearers. So we've got more to share with you. Stick with us. We'll be right back. In our ever-changing world, Jesus will always remain the anchor for our souls. Join Faith Landmarks Ministries this March 11th through the 12th for our special Ladies Fellowship Conference. Open to ladies from five years old and up. Enjoy a time of fellowship, growth, and renewal as we discover the keys to remaining anchored in Him. Registration is ongoing now through March the 2nd. For more details and to register, go to faithlandmarks.org. Be sure to save the date. We look forward to seeing you there. Ladies Fellowship Anchored, March 11th through the 12th at Faith Landmarks Ministries. Faith Landmarks Ministries and Contact TV invite you to join us live in Norfolk, Virginia this April 6th at 7 p.m. Our event will be held at Spring Hill Suites, 4500 Hampton Boulevard. For more details, visit faithlandmarks.org. Raise your level of understanding and root yourself deeper in the Word of God at Faith Landmarks Bible Institute. With two years of extensive learning and 30 courses to choose from, FLBI is diligent about seeing your walk with God ascend to new heights. Learn anytime, anywhere. Choose to take your classes on site or online and educate yourself in the way that best suits you. Visit flbi.org to view our wide range of courses, register for classes, and much more. On-site and online registrations for the 2022 Spring Trimester begin February 13th. On-site and online classes begin March 6th. For more information, visit flbi.org or call 804-262-7104. Make the spiritual investment to grow in your knowledge of the Kingdom here at Faith Landmarks Bible Institute. Glory to God. God is good. Okay, Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Jesus said, Therefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine. Now, he had just preached what we call the Sermon on the Mount. He never called it that. We're the ones that called it that. It's okay. You know, it's just a way of categorizing what it is. Okay, but you can go back in the four Gospels and you can see he taught a lot of things. Most of it dovetailed into or out of this these messages right here, but you can take everything that he said as his sayings. Therefore, whoso hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to unto a wise man. Now, I'd rather be wise, which built his house upon a rock. Now, you can make a choice right now in this services, particularly if this is the first time you've ever heard this, you can decide to be wise. Now, he's going to talk about foolish in just a minute. You might have been foolish in the past. But you can always say, I, I'm going to choose today. I'm choosing wise today. Maybe you found out foolish was not all that it's cracked up to be. Whoso hears these things of mine and does them, I will liken him, him, unto, him, liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Get back to that rock in a moment. The rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon the rock. Now, there is no better test in my lifetime for this reality than right now. You know, there, there's circumstances uh, that are afoot in the earth today, and it's all designed to bring you down 
but you certainly look like you're making it to me. Verse 26, everyone that hears these sayings of mine and does them not shall be likened unto a foolish man. Don't want to be that. Which built his house upon the sand. We'll talk about the sand too in just a moment. The rain descended, the floods came, the winds blew, beat against the house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Now, the house you're, you're building is not only the house of eternity, but it's also your own life. Okay, so uh, you're, you're building a life. Hallelujah. God, you're, you're building something in, that is eternal in the heavens, New Testament says. Praise the Lord. You ought to be thankful for that just to be able to uh, do your part. That was kind of weak. A few amens up here in the front. Did that reach the back? Okay. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So what's the difference between rock and sand? Well, we're, we're going to talk about this today and show you some things about it. The rock is actually uh, likened unto in this statement. It's the material that God used to create the universe. All things are upheld by the word of his power. So when you build your house on his word, then you're building on the rock. Now, uh, in case you had noticed... Uh, <laughs> Wow, you know, it's, it's, who knows how long it's been since the original creation. But wow, you know, it's all still standing. It looks to me like it's working. Hallelujah. Now, you know, that there's a lot of buzz in today's modern world about, you know, trouble with the weather and nobody's doubting that any of that is true, but I guarantee you that God is going to cause the earth to recover. See, you, you need to understand the earth still belongs to him. It doesn't belong to them and all their shouting and doubting is not going to change anything that he said. He said it's all going to remain just like he said. And it does remain. So it's coming back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow, you know, and God, think about this, God also told man to be fruitful and multiply. Okay, there's now 8 billion people on this planet. We're still here, so obviously that's not enough yet. So I've kind of set my sights on 10 billion. Woo, hallelujah, you know, it, it's, he'll be satisfied when it reaches his goal. Glory to God. And, you know, you, you have to understand that he factored it into the reality of crea creation. He would have never given man that commission if there wasn't a way to feed everybody, take care of everybody, and for the weather to be able to handle it. You know, the thing that they never say about uh, global warning, warming is you're the greatest warming factor out there. Every person is a thousand BTUs of heat. They don't ever talk about that because that would mean that they're really just trying to figure out a way to wipe you out. <laughs> Ooh, forgive me for telling on them, but that, that's what that's really at the bottom. of. If you weren't here, we wouldn't be having this problem. But here you are, and how did you get here? Because God said, be fruitful and multiply. What he says comes to pass. We're going to read more about that in just a moment. So when you build your house on his sayings, you're building your house on the rock. Sand is part of what I was just talking to you about, global warming. That's sand. It's unstable, insecure. And if you try to build your house on that, next week they'll change their minds. It's not as hot as we thought it was, or it's hotter than we thought it was. Are you there? But it goes, you know, it's, it's not stable. Sand is an unstable building material. And so you could have part of your foundation built on sand, and it's, there, there's like Pastor Sheree was uh, describing, got a crack, that part of your house is leaning Every time there's a storm of life that comes along, it, it uh, blows away that corner of your life. Hallelujah. Could be uh, healing. 
Maybe it's finances. Maybe you've uh, really, you know, there, there's a lot of financially successful people in this church, but not everybody is financially successful. Okay, so thank God for America. America is a vital and very successful nation. Okay, but America is still only 330 million of the 8 billion. Thing to keep in mind, it's, it's a numbers thing. And 80% of the world's wealth is concentrated in those 330 million people. Yeah, million. That's right. Hallelujah. Woo, got quiet in this Christian house all of a sudden. Praise the Lord. So, so yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's a fact. Things get out of balance, but, you know, God didn't do that. The reason why there's not equal distribution of wealth is not because of God, it's because of man. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Are you out there? Man is the one who does that. It's the world's system. Yeah, now you don't have to be concerned. God is going to uh, topple the thing. Book of Revelation talks about it. The whole thing is going to come down. It's called Babylon. You know, metaphorical term for the world system. Babylon, though, it's all going to come down, and then he's going to remake the earth while you're up in heaven, with it, surrounded by him, covered and protected. He's going to remake the heavens and the earth. Woo! And then the new Jerusalem is coming down. So he, he's got it all in hand. You don't have to be concerned. Hallelujah. But you should just go ahead and, and do what we're going to be talking about here today. You need to act on God's word. Okay, because that's how you build your house on the rock. If you would please go with me over to the book of James chapter 1. While you're going over there, a uh, statement for you. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, that's Romans 10, 17. Notice that Jesus said, whoso hears these sayings of mine. There is a difference between listening and hearing. Biblically, hearing is letting God's word get down into you to the place where it changes you. Changes the way you think, changes the way you act, changes what you believe, it changes you. So if you're still doing things the old way, where did you get the old way? It's probably sand. You know, the traditions of men are sand. But at any rate, uh, faith comes by hearing, not listening. Hearing is accepting God's word into your heart as true. His word is true. Thank God for his grace. Okay, so I'm in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 22. There, there's just a few of these that we're going to look at, uh, which, you know, essentially tell us the same thing. Hallelujah. It's just a different perspective, a different approach. Okay, so this is James talking. This was after Jesus was taken up into heaven. Uh, this book of James is uh, said to be written by one of Jesus' brothers, now, I wasn't there, you weren't there, but the, everybody that was there says that's what happened. So if you remember correctly, in Gospel of John chapter 7, Jesus' brothers and sisters turned against him. They actually tried to trick him into turning himself over to the scribes and Pharisees. He said, if anybody's doing these kind of signs and wonders, you need to go and show yourself. So what he was talking about, and of course Jesus did do that, but he, he didn't do it in such a way that exposed him to the enemy. There are enemies. You, you should understand there are enemies. But if you learn how to act on the word of God, what's going to happen is you're going to move forward in spite of whatever any enemy could do. It's not going to stop you in your life. Hallelujah. There's no uh, greater way, you know, people want to have a good, a good family, okay? 
which is worthy and notable, there's no way, greater way to actually accomplish that than to build your family house on the rock. The rock of God's word. Okay, so here we are, James 1, 22. Uh, he says, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is likened unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. So this is itself like an illustration. Natural face is your outer man. So you can look at yourself on the outside and not see the inside. Okay? But people even, uh, he, he said that, that, that what this is like is you look and you see yourself, but then you, he beholds himself and goes his way straight, and straightway forgets what manner of man he was. So th th this is what happens when people don't act on the word. They hear the word, are impressed by it. But then later you, you look at them and, and you go, well, what happened to you? They're no longer acting on the word. They don't have it coming out of their mouth. They look like they got hit by a truck in the parking lot. I mean, I see it all the time. Whereas before they were like the pinnacle of strength, glistening with the power of God. Now, you know, it's like I said, they're, they're all, you know, dirty and run over and beat up and hallelujah. So that, that's the picture of that one. Uh, forgets what manner of man he was. Okay, but look at this, verse 25. But whoso looks into the perfect law of liberty, and guess what that is? That's, the word is a mirror. It shows you who you actually are because it shows you the inner man. Hallelujah. Now, the inner man is not uh, just a, a figment of somebody's imagination. That is who you actually are. And to prove it, uh, what you should see right here, Book of James says the same thing. When the real you leaves your body, you, your body just goes back to dust. So what's making your you what you are? It's the spirit man on the inside. See, the spirit is the life of the body. Woo, hallelujah. Now, the good news is, is that you've been changed spiritually, and as you walk in him, the nature on the inside takes dominion all over the outside and changes your outer man into something that's more pleasing to you. And, you know, when you're resurrected, you're going to be completely satisfied with you. That didn't go over very big. So there won't be any more of this self-consciousness thing because you'll be satisfied with your new image. New Testament is full of that. You should and could go ahead and say amen. All right, so let's look at another one. If you would please go with me over to Isaiah chapter 55. Praise the Lord. While you're on your way over there, we ought to act on God's words sown into our hearts. Uh, when we are, we're releasing creative power into our lives. Now, he, here's the crux of the whole thing. The rock is uh, typical of the everything that God does. Nothing that he does is temporary. And it doesn't change unless he changes it. Amen. Now, the, in the end times, there is a state, there are prophecies that say that he's gonna just tweak it just a tad and it's gonna change everything. But in the meantime, this entire age that you're living in and the world, the created world, the way you know it to be is held intact by what he said. Now that, yeah, it's in Genesis uh, chapter eight.
Welcome back. Really glad that you're with us today on Contact. This message that we're, we have today is like a step beyond uh, the one previously. Okay, so we're talking about believing and acting, which in, uh, you know, essentially this is the faith process. Right. So the Bible says faith comes by hearing. That's what we talked about last week, uh, loving the word. So we're going to get the word on the inside of us. Okay, so faith comes by hearing and hearing by uh, the word of God in your heart. And then if we believe on it, believe in it, we're going to act on it. And we're going to be able to go in and possess the promises of God in our life. Yeah, an interesting aspect a lot of people don't. It's very practical, but a lot of people don't take into consideration is um, the word is likened to a mirror. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when uh, the Bible says that when you look into a natural mirror, your memory is short lived. You know, all you know, you think, you know who you are just by looking at yourself. But he says, when you walk away, you forget. Yeah. But but the principle of hearing, hearing is not just listening. Hearing is putting into action what you've heard and what you believe. And so we're actually, when we hear the word of God and read it, we're looking into the mirror of what our lives should look like, what God has planned for us, the path he wants us to walk on and how we receive uh, answers to prayer, victory over circumstances, uh, healing, deliverance, uh, supernatural provision, all of those things and how to receive them into our lives are all provided for us in a step by step format in the word of God. So we just encourage you, uh, you know, to hear the word, believe what it says, and then put it into practice and watch God work amazing miracles in your life. See here at Contact TV and Faith Landmarks Ministries, we're preparing for an unsurpassed year of soul saved, and lives change. We're sowing the incorruptible seed of the Word of God. And yeah. we encourage you to get connected with our ministry by partnering with Contact. Visit contact.tv and click on the partnership tab to get involved today. You can also invest in your own spiritual development by becoming a student at our Faith Landmarks Bible Institute. You can join anytime online, learn at your own pace. Just visit our website at flbi.org. Our Bible school is fully accredited and it means that we use to train disciples of Christ and church leaders all over the world. And portions of your contact giving help provide FLBI materials to students around the globe free of charge, and it's helping to fulfill the Great Commission in the earth. Wow, yeah, and that's those are ways that you can connect with this ministry. So uh, also you can go on the website faithlandmarks.org and check, uh, click on the events tab and uh, look into things that are coming up, which is going to involve outreaches. We're, we're doing outreaches in the United States and overseas. Coming up, you're welcome to join us on either one. We'd also like to ask you to participate with us. This is what we mean by partnering. Uh, participate with us by show, sowing a seed into this ministry. All details on how you can do that are being shown on the screen as we speak. So contact and Faith Landmarks Ministries are good ground where you can take part in fulfilling the Great Commission to reach the world uh, with the gospel. Every seed that you sow to contact goes to support our missions efforts in our local communities and around the world and supports the preaching of the gospel through this contact broadcast. We're gonna take just a few minutes right now to look at some of the things that we've been doing and then uh, forecasting, looking forward to things that are coming. 2021 was a year of new challenges and opportunities. Thanks to your faithful support, we were able to take advantage of those opportunities and sow into people's lives through missions around the globe. Recently, we received a detailed report on the growth of our missions efforts in Vietnam. Here are just a few of the many kingdom advancing highlights that occurred in Vietnam over the past year. Four FLBI groups were able to stay operational during the pandemic with over 90 students being able to continue their studies either in person or online through our website, flbi.org. 341 packages of food were donated to people across multiple regions of Vietnam. 
400 packages of gifts were able to be given to children throughout Vietnam, and three orphanages were able to be financially supported. As COVID cases rose, we were able to help purchase medications for the Vietnamese people. 11 new churches were started over the course of 2021, with 18 new groups activated in multiple regions. With your seed sown into missions and our active FLBI program, we saw over 2,500 new believers brought into the kingdom. Your giving is life-changing. Every seed sown is going into good ground that changes villages, cities, nations, and the world abroad. As we go forward into this exciting new year, sow into missions and watch our God multiply your seed sown. Open to ladies from five years old and up. Join Faith Landmarks Ministries this March 11th through the 12th for our special Ladies Fellowship Conference. Registration is ongoing now through March the 2nd. Faith Landmarks Ministries and Contact TV invite you to join us live in Norfolk, Virginia this April 6th at 7 p.m. Our event will be held at Spring Hill Suites, 4500 Hampton Boulevard. For more details, visit faithlandmarks.org. Raise your level of understanding and root yourself deeper in the Word of God at Faith Landmarks Bible Institute. With two years of extensive learning and 30 courses to choose from, FLBI is diligent about seeing your walk with God ascend to new heights. Learn anytime, anywhere. Choose to take your classes on-site or online and educate yourself in the way that best suits you. Visit flbi.org to view our wide range of courses, register for classes, and much more. On-site and online registrations for the 2022 Spring Trimester begin February 13th. On-site and online classes begin March 6th. For more information, visit flbi.org or call 804-262-7104. Make the spiritual investment to grow in your knowledge of the kingdom here at Faith Landmarks Bible Institute. Thank you for joining us today on Contact. We also want to invite you back next week for more of this series, Review Instructions. Also want to remind you that you can join us in person for any of our weekly services and upcoming events here at Faith Landmarks Ministries. You're always welcome. Uh, so you can also stream our events and services online, faithlandmarks.org. May God continue to bless each of you. We look forward to seeing you next time on Contact.